So I thought I'd make a little video of my uh, sort of history with Shapeways, I guess, or history with 3D printing in general. Um, so I discovered Shapeways a few years ago and bought a few models. These are just little uh, mathematical and kind of cool, uh, uh, just very fine, <laughs> fine detailed models. And fine details are cheap. That's the key thing with 3D printing is that uh, complexity is cheap. Um, it's all just based on the uh, volume of material, how much material you actually use. So anyway, then I decided, well, I should start getting involved myself. So uh, back there is a little robot nation uh, test test guy, robot guy. Uh, that's where you can design your own kind of creature. Um, but anyway, so I got some material samples. Uh, actually, I saw these guys at, uh, saw Shapeways at SIGGRAPH and learned a little bit about what they were doing. And uh, last last summer and got a material sample and started to go to town with uh, with Mineways. And here's a little thing from uh, Alexander Bowden as far as uh, he uh, he made these, <laughs> these cool little things. These are some of the very first um, things made in color with uh, Minecraft. And uh, anyway, let's see. So these are my first test models were these teapots and uh, obviously no color and so on. I just wanted to see if I could get the uh, forms out and see if they print okay. And here we have a, uh, the first thing I actually printed was a, um, in color, was a uh, Eiffel Tower. This is not the original one. This is uh, much later. This is a, a test of uh, texturing. But anyway, the, uh, the original is uh, Living in Atlanta with Mauricio Vives. And uh, anyway, so the rest, are, the rest is history. Here's a sort of going ahead. We have a bunch of different models here. Uh, let's see this Sentinel Castle. We have this uh, cactus. We have this Museum of the Stuff, where there is sort of a one of each cube in Minecraft at the time um, inside this uh, teapot. So this teapot was printed as two separate models, and uh, glue them together. Um, this thing back here is kind of a strange thing. It's this uh, slice of spawn. It's kind of a failed experiment in a way because it doesn't look very interesting. But if you get in there, you can sort of see the uh, just a slice of our spawn area, and uh, uh, you can see little blocks and so on. Like down here, for example, is this underground um, tree for tree uh, farm. So you see a bunch of trees there, a slice of the trees. Um, over here, there's this whole station. It's just a slice of our uh, community station, and there's a bunch of uh, redstone wire work and so on down below. Um, let's see, this is just Happy Home. This is The Guardian, which uh, the joke is, darn contractors, they, uh, they printed this guy upside down, or they, you know, they uh, built it upside down. So this is a, a real life model in our world that's actually upside down, built upside down, using uh, Binvox. I was able to build this. and. Uh, so anyway, some of the things, let's see, X the Unknown, which is just my little sort of secret uh, scientist, uh, uh, how do I want to say, not mad scientist, perturbed scientist, that's the word we like to use, um, is little lair, so you can see little details on the top, like there's a little portal uh, to, other, to, to the nether and so on. Um, let's see, this is uh, Minecraft in a Bowl, which is really just about my favorite. It's uh, just a very cool little model. Um, it's actually hollow inside, and uh, it's got this, uh, I didn't make this, but it's just this great little model of uh, sort of a little Minecraft world that's made that's in a bowl with water pouring over the edge. Uh, these, are, uh, these are bracelets made out of various Minecraft blocks, and uh, if, you, if you go in for detail, you can sort of see, you know, little details like uh, this one if I show it. I don't know if it'll show up in the film, but there's little TNTs here. That uh, anyway, little TNT blocks, for example, and you can actually read TNT on the side and so on. Um, here's another little mini one, uh, a little, you know, another Eiffel. Um, this one's actually from Figure Prints, and uh, so it's sort of uh, um, another exporter of Mineways, and uh, they have a kind of slick interface, a sort of a different attitude than Mineways. I mean, it's a commercial venture and so on, um, but uh, but a pretty cool program. And uh, anyway, let's see, this is just um, a little piece of uh, X the Unknown again. Uh, let's see, what is it? It's like a, I mostly did it for the redstone wiring on the top. It's a, uh, it's basically sort of a mad music machine that does all kinds of odd things. 
And let's see what else we got. We've got a skull from the uh, Lost Empires. And we got one of the Pac-Men from uh, the uh, Isthmus of Blissness. And then I thought I'd end with uh, uh, just the, the Swiss Village, <laughs> basically. There's tons of these little Swiss, uh, Swiss houses and so on that I printed out. Um, I printed them once actually with Shapeways and then they sort of decided to not print them again because they, uh, they were afraid that the, the little bits would break off the, uh, the chimneys and so on. Um, but a guy at uh, 3D Systems uh, nicely enough said, oh sure, I'll print you a bunch. So he printed me out a, a bunch of these. And uh, anyway, that's about it. That's where I am. That's, uh, that's sort of my, you know, six months of uh, Mineways printing right here. And uh, anyway, I just thought I'd show that off. There's uh, other models that I printed, but have just uh, printed to send to friends and so on. Other people in our world that have been building interesting stuff. And uh, that's all, folks. Bye now.